Will the audience please stand and the class of 2023 remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. The audience and class of 2023 may be seated for the invocation. Let us now all bow our heads in prayer. God, our Father, you have gathered us here today in celebration of an odyssey completed. We stand before you under the unity that you have provided for us during our primary school years. The life you have blessed us with has been one of triumph and torment. Yet throughout all of this, you have always been there as a friend, a mentor, and most importantly, as a guide. We thank you for shining your light down upon us and carrying us through this pivotal part of our lives. We also thank you for bringing us together and allowing us to grow, learn from one another, and become stronger than we could have possibly imagined. We are incredibly grateful for the blessing of the glorious teachers, coaches, administrators, counselors, and parents that are clear extensions of your grace and have molded us into something greater. We are eternally grateful for the opportunities that you have bestowed upon us, and we ask that you continue to watch over and bless this Glen Oak family in the next chapter of their lives, allowing them to soar ever brighter and higher into the eternal and beautiful future. Amen.
countenance upon you and give you peace and give you peace and give you peace, and give you peace the Lord. Lord make King his face to shine upon you and be gracious, and be gracious unto you and be gracious the Lord be gracious Gracious unto you. Amen. 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 Good evening. My name is Eugene Kazanis. I'm president of the Plain Local Board of Education along with my other board members. We would like to congratulate the, con the class of 2023 on your imminent graduation. We would like to congratulate those who are here with you, your parents, grandparents, family members, those that have gotten you to where you are today. We do not make this journey alone and that's what I wanna take just a few minutes, I promise, uh, to talk to you about. Tonight marks the end of your time here at Glen Oak, but of course, tonight is not the celebration of the end of something, it is the celebration of the beginning of, of something. Tonight is commencement, meaning the beginning. So, uh, the beginning of what? And that's, that's the fun part, that is what is exciting because that answer is different for each and every one of you. Some of you are gonna go on to higher education, some of you are gonna enter into the workforce, some of you are gonna go into the military, start families and other of you are going to move into your parents' basement, and that's okay. <laughs> that's okay, just, just not too long. So, for this class, you begin this journey at an interesting time in history, okay? And if you watch the news, or you get on whatever social media platform you, you choose and you check in on what adults are doing these days, um, you're going to see conflict, and you're going to see disagreement, and you're going to see division. Um, but I have had the pleasure of watching you all over the course of years. I have seen your performance in the arts. I have seen the way you carry yourself on the athletic field. I have seen your academic achievements. And as I stand here today looking at you, what I see is hope. Hope in the future of something better. And I want to share with you a simple fact of life tonight, something that is important to me. And that is that the way you treat other people matters. It is important. It ultimately affects other people's lives and it affects your life. Uh, because what you put out into the world comes right back at you. And I would ask you to go through your journey, your lives, treating other people with simple decency. Um, it is simple, it's simplistic, but it is important. Because the truth of the matter is, a lot of people are not strong enough to be decent. Uh, because to be kind and be courteous to somebody who disagrees with you, it takes strength, and not all people have that. It, um, and if you doing the right thing and taking the high road is always the more difficult task, but I have seen you all in action and I know that you are up to the task. So if that is the case, then we will all be better for it. So class of 2023, let me congratulate you again 
and wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Brent May and I'm proud to be the superintendent here in the Plain Local School District. First of all, congratulations class of 2023. Nice job, congratulations to all of you. Before I begin my remarks, I'd just like to thank family, friends, community members that are here tonight. Thank you for the support of your children but also the Plain Local Schools. I know you've had many late nights, early mornings, a lot of laughter, maybe some tears. Deadlines and projects, you have driven your children everywhere and you have juggled schedules uh, that no one could imagine. But you've continued to guide and to counsel your children, so thank you. But I also know tonight, families, parents, there's a flood of emotions that are going through you. You're remembering all those experiences through the years and you're wondering, how did the time go so fast? So I hope that tonight, parents, family members, you can enjoy, sit back and enjoy, and be proud of your children that are graduating this evening. Students, if I could give you a word of advice tonight, find some time and pull your family aside and tell them that you love them and give them a big hug. I'd also like to recognize our entire staff in Plain Local, many are walking tonight. Many are working the event, and some are parents of graduates. I just wanna let you know that I'm proud to work with you. I'm proud to have my, my kids educated by you, and I think you're the best staff in Stark County, so thank you. So tonight's about the students in the class of 2023. So I'm gonna speak directly to you. We had a fun graduation practice this morning, um, and it's good to see you back, and you're all here. But each senior class has their own personality and, and character. And each senior class is special in their own way. And you are no different. You are special and this entire community around you tonight is proud of you and I am proud of you. My remarks tonight will be brief, I promise you, but I wanna challenge you, but I also wanna provide some perspective as you take your next step. I think it's important to Realize what you've accomplished. Your freshman year was cut short. Your sophomore and junior years were uncertain. You never gave up. You faced the adversity. You took it head on. You stayed committed and focused along the way. And this year, you excelled in everything. Athletics, academics, and the arts. You faced some tough times, but you came through it better prepared for whatever is next. You have the characteristics and skills to be successful, but now it's up to you if you will apply what you've learned. I hear people sometimes, adults, <clears throat> speak negatively about our youth, and I disagree with them, and honestly, at times it offends me. Because I've seen this senior class all year act with integrity, grace, and thankfulness. I believe in you. And I believe in our future because of you, because of who you are. I see it every day. <clears throat> I see it every day and all the potential that you have. So matter your next step, you can do it. And each of you sitting here tonight has value. Never, ever let anyone tell you you don't matter or that you can't do something. Prove them wrong. Everyone graduating tonight has special gifts to give to this world. Don't waste that opportunity. We are depending on you. Yes, our world is turned upside down right now, but complaining about it won't do anything to solve the problem. So I challenge you, how will you respond? I encourage you to be nice, kind, give others grace, say please and thank you, show compassion and love, Say hi and good morning. Hold the door open for someone. And lastly, and I hope you take this to heart, refuse to tear some, someone down on social media. Call others up, that should be our goal, to make others better 
And as Mr. Kazantis talked about, be decent, be kind people. Our world needs more of that now than ever. And we are depending on you to do that. You have no idea the smallest act of kindness could change, could change someone's life. <clears throat> Lastly, I want to challenge you as you leave here tonight. Get a little better every day. Whatever it is, be a little better than yesterday. If you do that, you will accomplish something meaningful. Keep learning. Never stop acquiring knowledge. Be curious. Read. Read a book. Read a magazine. Not everything you learn is from TikTok. Be selfless. Give back to your community and help others. There's no better gift that you can give than to help someone in need. Grit. You have to have grit. Life's hard. What you guys have been through for four years hasn't been easy, but you've made it. You're sitting here tonight. So when you get knocked down, brush yourself off and get back in the game, because that's life. And when you fail, you learn. So don't be afraid to fail. That's when you grow, and that's when you learn. And have passion. Whatever you do next, do it with great passion and enthusiasm. Be humble, be kind, and be thankful. I know you're going to do great things, and we cannot wait to hear the impact that you have in this world. Please understand and know that you'll always be an eagle, and you'll always be welcomed at Glen Oak High School. So now you get to go and be great. You get to seize the moment. Don't waste it. Fail forward. And most importantly, be kind to each other. So on behalf of the Plain Local Schools and the Plain Local Board of Education, congratulations, class of 2023, and go Eagles. Good evening, fellow classmates, teachers, administrators, family, and friends. It is my great honor and joy to represent the Glen Oak graduating class of 2023. However, I understand that the perspective that I stand before you with here today is different from your perspective and the people sitting next to you. Each of us has our own personal memories and stories that we will carry with us as we walk across this field here today and as we continue to march through our lives. I believe that the strength of this institution lies with its diversity of scholastics, athletics, the arts, the student body, and the mentors that guide it. The building behind me and the people who fill it have afforded me the privilege of not just opportunity, but the privilege of variety. The ability to pursue an international baccalaureate diploma, the array of career tech opportunities, the emphasis placed on the arts, and the vast array of athletics are just some of the items that separate Glenelg High School from any other school within a reasonable area and what makes my experience and yours as valuable as any I can imagine. I hope that as we stand here today, we understand that in our hands is a ticket. A ticket, a key, a magic wand, whatever you want to call it, this diploma provides a launch pad to those who are holding it. This is the launch pad to our aspirations, the same aspirations and hopes that we have valued during the many late nights, shoved into 20 pound book bags and poured into the endless cups of coffee. And I wanna speak on this moment. Don't let this day pass you by, because life moves pretty fast. And if you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. Really look around, really take in this moment, the people around you, the hat on your head, complete with a tassel that will soon turn to the left and the cliff that you currently stand on looking out to a hopeful horizon. In your reflections of your personal growth, I encourage you to focus on your personal bests, your lessons learned, and how they will propel you into a nauseatingly exciting future. I hope that you have butterflies in your stomach the way that I do at this moment. I hope and I wish for you the bliss of optimism and the pins and needles of something big to come. God bless you all and thank you. As the famous hip hop artist Drake once said, sometimes it's the journey that teaches you a lot about your destination. And sometimes when you get there, you'll look back and you'll realize that you wish you could go there again because all the experiences are the reason that you are who you are today. 
If I had a dollar for every time someone told me that high school flies and to not take it for granted, I'd be a millionaire. All jokes aside, these words have more truth to them, truth to them than I'd like to admit. The word journey is defined as an act of traveling from one place to another. Without a doubt, I can say that the class of 2023 experienced nothing short of a journey during a high school career, both physically and mentally. During the home stretch of our freshman year, COVID made its way to the city of Canton. On March 13, 2020, Plain Local students received groundbreaking news. Mr. May granted us an early start to our spring break. Little did we know, this was, the, this was the last day we'd step foot into Glen Oak High School during our freshman year. It would be an understatement to say that remote learning was difficult. Transitioning from nine years of traditional face-to-face -face learning to having class through the means of Google Meet disconnected us from our teachers and made us alter our normal way of learning. Though COVID altered our reality on what we anticipated to be a new and improved chapter of our life, our journey can be characterized in many positive ways. To highlight these memories made and lessons learned, I will create an acrostic, a word composition in which each recurring feature spells out a word. In this case, the word is journey. J, junior year. This was a special year for the class of 2023 because this is when Plain Local slowly began to drop its COVID restrictions. Audiences were loud at sports matches, homecoming occurred, we put on the production of Little Mermaid musical, and we had our first prom. We also began to brainstorm ideas of what our potential plans after high school would look like. O, oh, optimism. Though COVID restrictions required us to wear uncomfortable masks for two years and limited student interaction, our class took it with a grain of salt and continued to work hard inside the classroom or at home through online school. We kept hope that eventually we returned to some form of normalcy. You, using our time wisely. Being a student athlete or having a job is time consuming, but is necessary to provide us with the skills we need to be successful in the future. Along the way, we realized the importance of time management and setting priorities. R, relationships. Throughout our years in Plain Local, we came across countless teachers, counselors, and peers who made an impact on our journey. Whether we liked them or not, they shaped us into the person we are today. These special connections will be reminisced about plenty of times in the future. N, nostalgia. Looking back to our years in elementary and high school, or excuse me, middle school, we often reflect on how easy we had it when our only homework assignments were on iReady. We constantly compare our current self to our former self and see how much we evolved in our character. E, excitement. As senior year rolled around, we began to understand the worth of the hard work we put in. One day of school completed equals one step closer to walking across the stage. This year, we experienced our final first day, were granted seniority to sit in the front of the student section, and participated in the senior walk across the district, an event that we admired as kids. Why? YOLO, also known as you only live once. I personally try to live by this phrase on a daily basis in order to make the most out of my life. It's unbelievable that three years ago, we were just memorizing the location of the A, B, C, and D hallways. Watching high school fly by in the blink of an eye taught us to not take life for granted because time is only moving forward, not backwards. Drake additionally stated, I'm living inside a moment, not taking pictures to save it. I mean, how could I forget? My memories never faded. This diploma that we are about to receive holds countless memories and lessons that we should cherish for a lifetime. As we embark on our future journey in college, the workforce, military, or whatever our heart desires, Never forget what being a Golden Eagle has taught us in these 12 years. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Gail Kimbrough. As principal of Glen Oak High School, it is my privilege and honor to certify to Mr. May and the Plain Local Board of Education that the class of 2023 has met all the requirements set forth by the state of Ohio. Class of 2023, I want to thank you for your leadership at Glen Oak High School this year, and thank you for your commitment to your education. Finally, congratulations on your accomplishments. I look forward to hearing of your successes in the future. 
audience, as our students from the class of 2023 are announced, we ask that you withhold your applause until the end. Thank you. Glen Oak High School, class of 2023, 4.0 or higher students, please stand. <laughs> Glen Oak High School, class of 2023, top 25 students. Evelyn Parr, Maya Peterson, Luke Senfin, Giselle Issa, Jared Hahn, Kate Weisbrod, Roman Shaheen, Jacob Harms, Zachary Gemma, Karis Lance, Madison Dentler, Thomas Elfay, Peyton Tolly, David Marginian, Lindsay Klenner. Dylan Wolf, Aaron Muckley, Ariel Euler, Abigail Hartman, Mia Floyd, Vanessa Wellman, Hayden Scott, Abigail Smerdell, Carter Mucci, Blaine Maurer, Glen Oak High School, foreign exchange students. Daniela Faldasparo. Milena Forces Trigo Hasha. Charlotte Nalatz. Johanna Schmidt, Johanna! Francesco Velarde, Leandra Waldis,
Glen Oak High School, class of 2023. Jamil Abdul Zahir. Noel Adams. John Alexander. Salahudi Ali. Lunita Al Qayed. Lily Allison Smith. Christina Anna Matidis, Matidis, Anna Matidis. Only three tries. Kirsten Amos. Ricardo Andrews. Catalina Angelo. Landon Angione. Haven Anthony. Alexi Antonides. Jaden Ardelia. Kaylee Armstead. Jimmy Arrigo. Andrew Arway. Lydia Ayers. Logan Bear. Jaden Barino. Brent Barwick. Brandon Batson. Lawrence Beadle. Kylie Benarchik. Roman Begg. Riley Bemiller Kelly. Anina Bicho. Nathan Bassesi. Atticus Black. Evan Blake. Olivia Blueball. Emily Boggs, Grace Bowen, Gracie Bowen, Liam Boyce, Denim Bradley, Cameron Brock. Xavier Brook, Madison Brooks, Madison Broom, Nastasia Brown, Jada Broyles, Giovanni Buckenberger. Hannah Birchfield. Madison Burgess. Cole Burrick. Matthew Caldwell. Joshua Campbell. Jenna Cantarucci. Dante Carcione. Leonard Cartwright. Lily Sindrick. Connor Clevenger. Caitlin Clouser. Joshua Coleman. Jadlyn Connor. Alexandria Cooper, 
Latiana Cooper. Camilla Crawford. Olivia Crowell. Jacob Curtin. Logan Serpak. Jamir Daniels. Braden Doherty. Benjamin Davis. Emmy Davis. Nathan Davis. Paige DeFrank. Angie Delsid. Jenna Delp. Anthony DeSaro. Richard Deskin. Hannah Dechen. Kaylee Dixon. Isabella DeMichael. Ashley Dorn. Madison Dorsey. Isabella Dorto. Shaylin Dotson. Madison DeVidio. Megan Dre. Aiden Dunnerstick. Conrad Eberly. Ethan Edelman. Kyle England. Carly Eubanks. Jada Evans. Ariana Faulkner. Anna Marie Feliciano. Peyton Fichter. Noah Fink. Grace Flock. Benjamin Flounders. Cherokee Fonts. Bryson Ford. Diesel Ford. Elijah Fox. Gavin Frame. Amber France. Joshua Franz. Olivia Frazier. Marina Frida. Hannah Frederick. Nolan Folks. Ashlyn Fuller. Xavier Gaddison. Java Gaines. Demia Garner Williams. John Garver. Dion Gatlin. Kiara Gaddis. Rebecca Gerber.
Aria Gingrich. Jasmine Good. David Gorby. Jaden Gorham. Ava Gatto. Samantha Gower. Jordan Grant. Xavier Grimwood. Stephen Haynes. Abigail Hall. Anna Hall. Nadia Hallams. Adeline Hamans. Ava Harper. Katherine Harris. Mariah Hastings. Chastity Hatchet. Caitlin Honor. Joseph Hopp. Brian Hauser. Alana Hinderhan. Sanaya Henderson. Serenity Henderson. Austin Henry Wilmot. Josie Hurtna. Jacques Hewitt. Elizabeth Hicks. Bryson Hill. Serena Hill. Quinton Heiner. Joseph Hinnebush. Daniel Hively. Tyler Hoffman. Bowie Honeycutt. Terriana Hood. Amaya Hooks. Alex Howard. Dylan Hunter. James Hunter. Giovanni Areta. Kyla Jackson. Kamaya Jeter. Ananias Johnson. Jonathan Jones. Nadia Jowers. Annie Kark. Sailor Kaufman. Nevea Kelly Swift. Corbin Kemp. Thomas Kingsbury. Alexis Kinzer. Spencer Klatt. Connor Klotz. 
Max Koski. Elijah Crash. Hunter Carrillo. Alex Laird. Sophia Lambert. Annabella Latavo. Eli Lofman. Gavin Leach. Malena Leahy. Dominic Leon. Nicholas Leon. Jada Lilly. Zoe Lopez. Eric Lorenz. Paige Lucas. Xander Lung. Nathaniel Lutton. Joshua Leiden. Nicholas McDonald. Darren Macon. Nathan Mann. Owen Marks. Janaya Marshall. Andrew Martins. Ariana Matos. Morgan Maurer. Emily May. Kaylee Maley. William Maley. Leon McArdle. Samuel MacArthur. Carrie McCallan. Abigail McClung. Anastasia McCray. Kennedy McGuire. Naya McIntosh. Emily McMasters. Haley McMasters. Shane McNutt. Braden McReynolds. Austin McRoberts. McKenna McWilliams. Leah Mellinger. Patrick Menser. Lily Meyer. Madison Miko. John Michael. Cambria Mickley. Amaya Mike Johnson. Gavin Miller. Jonathan Minger. Kyle Moore. Stephen Mowry. 
Bradley Mull. Maggie Mutchler. Zoelle Myers. Luke Nagy. Samuel Needing. Kaylee Nyland. Diego Ortega. Landon Ozinger. Carmen Papaleo. Malena Paradis. Bo Parent. Caden Paskew. Miranda Patterson. Griffin Pierce. Stone Peeler. Sophia Petrakis. Ethan Philpot. Grayson Fister. Hannah Pearson. Andrea Pfeiffer. McKenna Plotz. Caitlin Premier. Dakota Prusser. Gabrielle Pritchett. Ava Pukanski. Nikita Ramos. Ferris Rashton. Brittany Raimundo Brito. James Reedy. Brendan Real. Preston Rich. Thomas Rice. Nigel Richards. Simon Richards. Jeremiah Robinson. <clears throat> Olivia Rocco. Cherish Ross. Christina Rossio. McKenna Rouse. Elena Royer. Mia Russo. Stanley Salomon. Zachary Sams. Claire Sanders. Raven Sanders. Joseph Scarpino. Colin Seaton. Samuel Selby. Caden Severson. Isaiah Shackelford. Noah Shankleton. 
Emily Schock. Danielle Shoemaker. Mason Seeloff. Nicholas Silvestri. Amaya Smith. Drew Smith. Fernando Smith. Lily Smith. Nevaeh Smith. Corbin Smolik. Adrian Snyder. <laughs> Emma Snyder. Isaac Summers. Andrew Spring. Nathaniel Spring. Kelsey Staley. Natalie Stepanovich. Kelsey Stevenson. Micaiah Sturgis. Matthew Stiglitz. Kamaria Stokes. Andrew Strickland. Lane Studer. Morgan Suggs. Melissa Sumser. Sean Swagger. Mason Sweeney. Devon Swift. Madison Sylvester. Brooke Tallman. Kyra Taylor. Gian Tijano. Kala Theodore. Ryan Tario. Aiden Thomas. Corzon Thomas. Jaden Nakia Thomas. Jaden Isaiah Evan Thomas. Tristan Thomas. Luke Thompson. Alvin Toe. Brody Tamochik. Marabi Trace. Alyssa Tucker. Dakota Tarowski. Aliyah Unkafer. 
Andrew Urban. Carol Valdez. Jacob Van Buren. Gracie Van Camp. Alexandra Valichkovic. Natalie Volzer. Simon Von Lint. Lucas Wachunas. Jenna Wagner. Kamaya Walker. Nicholas Walter. Seth Walter. Aiden Walters. Jada Warfield. Carmen Warren. James Weir. Dante Weiser. Brandon Wurstler. Madison Wetzel. Nyla White. Hunter Witt. Jacob Williams. Joshua Williams. Noah Williams. Seth Williams. Sydney Wilson. Madison Wyman. Caden Wood. Trent Woods. Taylee Worley. Katherine Wuchnik. Brendan Yako. Lindsay Yoakum. Devante Young. Emily Zaksik. Ashley Zander. Haley Zorn. Hayden Zufall. Sarah Zwick.
There are over 400 students here tonight. Wow, 400 and yet only one brain cell left. Vanessa, there's, there's two of us up here. I know, I stand by what I said. I guess you're right. You know, there's actually some scientific basis behind this idea. As children, we are gaining more neural connections than at any other point in our lives. This is because we are learning more and utilizing different skills with each and every day. The fascinating thing about this concept is that as we grow as people, we lose many of these neural connections, as certain skills become second nature or as we grow to no longer need them. The brain in this scenario is losing so much, yet somehow still getting stronger. Similar to everyone here today, we have all lost and gained something along the way, but in each high and low, we have, all, we have learned valuable lessons that will forever guide us. Now, if you could, please use whatever brain power you have left and think back to your first day of first grade. Think about how vast and new and scary and different it all felt. Now, flash forward to your first day of fifth grade. And then I'd like you to think of your first day of high school. Each time you were faced with huge challenges that were both exciting while also being incredibly terrifying. Throughout these years, we each built friendships that strengthened us and enriched our lives, granting us new opportunities and purpose. Along the way, we gained an astonishing amount of knowledge in regards to all aspects of life, and this knowledge has made us more powerful at every turn. However, during this time, we've also lost an exorbital amount. We face the loss of our closest friends and our beloved family members. We've seen some of the close friendships we've made along the way burn, and at one point or another, we've all had our hearts broken. Still today, we don't always remember or utilize the knowledge we've gained over the years and don't always adhere to the lessons these tribulations have taught us, whether it be academic knowledge or life experiences. Now, I believe it was Pitbull, or Mr. Worldwide to all of you, who said, I've lost a lot, and I've learned a lot, but I'm still undefeated like Shula. Throughout this voyage, we've endured many experiences that have left us battered and bruised. Feeling at this point that we have nothing to win and nothing left to lose. But after all of this, we are left with exactly what we need to move boldly into the next chapter of our lives. We are stronger now than we have been at any point in our lives prior to this moment. And we will now use that strength to succeed in whatever path we choose to pursue. We've reached the end, the closing chapter of our story together. We are on the edge of our lives and the precipice of something greater. It is now up to us to take that leap of faith into the blinding light of tomorrow. As we soar into the beyond, let us never stop dreaming, never stop loving, never stop learning, and never stop growing. So go ahead, take the leap, and as a wise person once told me, if you aren't living on the edge, you're taking up too much space. And now, class of 2023, at the end of our journey, I ask for your assistance one more time. I promise, last thing, then you're done with me. Don't get too excited, all right? The last thing I'd like to do as a class is give them something to remember us by. So let's do it one last time. And as always, Will the class of 2023 please stand?
please join me in the last official duty and celebration of the class of 2023 by changing your tassel from right to left, signifying our graduation. Will the class of 2023 and the audience please stand and remain standing for the singing of the alma mater. The audience may be seated.